All right, today uh, we're going to start learning how to use sound in Flash. How do we take a sound clip and add it to a movie that we've created in Flash, and how are we going to add that sound so that it's in time with uh, the parts of the movie that uh, need the sound to begin at a certain frame. So that's what we're gonna learn today. Now the first thing you need to know is when you have uh, flash ready to go. <clears throat> You've already got your design set up and your uh, your motion guide, your layers, all the different things that you've already created need sound. So what we're going to do is try to figure out how to make sure that it's in the correct frame at the correct time so that the sounds correspond with the shapes that you've drawn. Okay, so we're trying to just make sure that everything is in time together. So what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, add to this, this movie clip that we have. And so the first thing I need to do is I need to go to the internet and open uh, the program that we're going to use. And that program is going to be FlashKit. So what you're going to need to do is to open FlashKit. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to um, FlashKit and I've already got the uh, uh, the sounds uh, in the sound FX part of the uh, internet that their website has and now the nice thing about FlashKit is all of their sounds are, are ready to go for you they're ready for flash so you don't have to do anything to prepare them or prep them so what we're gonna do now is we're in uh, FlashKit as you can see here and we're in the sound effects uh, area so let's go ahead and scroll down this page and find the sound we want let's go ahead and just select a uh, cartoon there now I'll have a list here uh, as I scroll down of different kinds of sounds I want now I've got a bouncing uh, ball on my flash guide movie and so I'm gonna have one that just uh, sounds like it's bouncing or a boing sound so let's go ahead and, and select that and now I'm gonna have uh, some sounds here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select these three and I'm going to uh, play them. Now the nice thing about the flash sounds is you can play it and hear it before you select it. And if you like that sound, then you can go ahead and use it. We'll download it. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to this sound and uh, give it a go here. Okay. And I and let's see what the last one sounds like. Well, I like the first sound, so let's go ahead hear it one more time here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use that sound. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the sound. Now, your downloads should be uh, all set for you. You should have a place where you're going to pre-download this. So let me show you what you're going to do before you download this, where it's going to download at. We're going to have this in our, our download file. Now, how do I find my download file? Well, let's go to our finder here. And once I get my finder open, as you can see here, I have a downloads file. Now, my downloads file is in this menu. But I would like to have it on my desktop over here so or on, on, my, on my dock here in Mac. So I'm going to take this download. I'm going to drag it and place it over here on my dock. And now that's where my download is going to go into that folder when I uh, select this uh, sound clip. Okay, I'm going to close this and let's go ahead and download this. Now before I download this, I'm going to go ahead and download. It may take a second or two for it to download and uh, so what I'm going to do now is check and see if it has in fact downloaded. Now I can check to see if, I ha if it downloaded on my desktop or go straight to the downloads folder. Let's go to the downloads folder and open it and right now there's nothing in it so let's see uh, where else it may have or where I may have placed it or did I in fact download it okay so let's go ahead and uh, check our downloads okay so I'm gonna uh, put this away here let's go ahead and check our downloads and uh, as you can see I've got flash here and let's see did it download onto my desktop no I don't think I downloaded it uh, into my folder yet into my download so let's go ahead and uh, pull this back up and download one more time 
now I've got to uh, select this one sound effect, okay? And so I'm going to go with my wave file. Let's go with wave. And now it's going to download into uh, my downloads folder, okay? So here it is. I've got it. And now I've got to open this so that I can download it, okay? And it's going to default into my uh, into my default sound player, which would be my iTunes, okay? So let's go ahead and we'll open this. And now we can see that we have this in our downloads. And I'm just going to go ahead and double click on it and open it. And there you can see it's opened as a, uh, as a WAV file in my iTunes, okay? And now at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place this uh, on my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to drag it and place it over onto my desktop. And I'm going to close these two. I'm going to close my downloads and my flash kit player. And I'm going to open my flash movie. And at this point I need to place that sound clip into my flash library. So let's do that. So I'm going to select file menu. And I'm going to scroll uh, down to uh, my edit and I'm going to uh, import into import to library and when I do that I'm gonna need to find that file that I just downloaded it's on my desktop and here it is it's right here it's my WAV file I'm gonna double click on it and now it's going to automatically load into my sound file okay into my library so where's my library well I can't see it right now let's open that also here's my library in my window menu and now you can see that I have my symbol that I created, the screen symbol I created, and you can see uh, that I've got the Boeing sound. So now let's go ahead and uh, what we're going to do right here is we're going to stop this lesson and we're going to go to the next lesson, okay? So we've downloaded the sound clip, it's in my library, and we're going to load it onto the stage and into a new layer. So uh, let's go ahead and select a new layer. and there we go, we've inserted the new layer. It's right here, it's in between the guide layer and the other one. I'm gonna move this to the top here, drag to the top. And now, I'm simply going to uh, move to the frame where the ball is at the bottom, and I'm going to place this sound clip right here on the stage. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this sound clip, and I'm going to move it into position one more here and now one more actually and there it is at the bottom so let's go ahead and play that <coughs> there you go let's go ahead and do another copy and paste and let's drag this over to the next correct frame and there you go. It's at the very bottom there. Let's go ahead and play it again. Now I won't hear the first sound, but I will hear the second. And it's in the right place. Okay, so there you go. We're going to uh, go to this lesson and uh, we will uh, repeat this lesson in just a moment for you. We're going to pick up where I start off with the uh, sound clip being added, okay? Uh, good luck and come see me if you need help and I'm always available on my email. All right, good luck.